Yeah, I think, you know, going through our non-conference schedule and playing these teams, um, I really thought it prepared us for NEC for league play, you know, come January, February. So that was just really good, on, you know, on my end and our staff's end, just learning kind of the ins and outs and the wear and tear, the travel and the, just the growth that, you know, going game to game allows us to learn and then just prepare for, for NEC play. So. Um, you know, tipping this thing up in a few days. I, I know it's going to be a real test, a real challenge, and we're really, really excited to, to, to go play and uh, excited to get started with our guys. But I think still in the back of your mind, you're still trying to build game to game to, you know, get ready for NEC play come January time. But um, last year was awesome. You know, it was, a, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of exci exciting games, opportunities, travel. Um, and I think this year with our non-conference schedule, you know, we open up at GW, um, which is going to just, it's going to be so cool for, for our alumni who are down there in the area. And then we're playing UConn soon after that. We play West Point here, our home opener, um, at Kentucky, you know, in our first two weeks. So we play UConn and at, at Kentucky, at, down at St. Joe's. Just those opportunities uh, for the school, for our players, for our families, for the alumni to, to be involved. Um, seeing their excitement last year, seeing the text and the emails right now, everyone's just so excited to get started and watch our team, see what we've got, and just go follow our team along as we go play some of these top tier schools. Just saw a lot of different teams from last year, really young, a lot of transfers in, but uh, we're young, energetic, we're ready to go, ready to keep proving everyone that Sonal basketball is ready for the D1 level. Well, being one of the newcomers, we're definitely a young and somewhat of an inexperienced team, but I'm looking up to the challenge. I feel like we're part of a great program with a great coaching staff that will get us ready for the season. We have a tough non-conference schedule, but I think that's exactly what we need, take it one game at a time and keep building to go into conference with Sharp and know exactly what we got to do and build off the great year that Stonehill had last year. Yeah, we've got a really, you know, a new group uh, from top to bottom. A handful of returners, obviously, that were part of last year's group that um, got some great experience. And, you know, we're are going to bring just uh, that experience, you know, per se, for, for those guys that are back. But um, a lot of new faces, a totally different group than last year within Andrew Sims and Isaiah Burnett, a Josh Mack, a Shamir Johnson, like that, the that group that propelled us to you know finish second in the nec um fourth four or fifth year kids in in our program that knew how we played knew how we did things offensively defensively just knew you know our expectations and all that and now we've got a group that's learning that you know and we're putting a lot on our returning group to you know just build and show and teach all the the new faces what stonehill basketball and our program is all about and it, it's going to be different we're going to go through a handful of growing pains we're going to go through a handful of just the learning process of what I think it takes to play at this level that you know we're all learning and you know even myself included in our second year but just learning you know our details and our schemes and our terminology and our system and just how we play as a group so I think I'm excited to watch this group game to game week to week how we grow and how we develop. Just for me uh, being out all last year red shirt and I just uh, taking a outside perspective and just uh, watching the game and just seeing the competition um, I, I know what it takes and I know um, we gotta get guys ready to go and it's just an everyday process, uh, just building blocks for us. Every day we just gotta keep building and building and getting better and better every day. Yeah, we're playing a lot. We're playing UConn, Rutgers, Miami, Kentucky, Power 5 schools that have amazing coaching staffs and a long tradition of just great basketball. But I'm also looking forward to some of the mid-major games in the A-10. Just like our home opener for George Washington, that's gonna be a great team with potentially a player of the year uh, that we're gonna go up against. And uh, just every game is something I look forward to because it's a different challenge. Just uh, being able to play the defending champs is just an uh, awesome experience. Going back to the Excel Center, it's just uh, me, again, coming from Connecticut. Just I've been there a million times. I just can't wait to go back and be able to play this time and just be able, on the big stage. A lot of family coming, friends. Just an amazing opportunity. It's special, you know, to currently be the only Canadian Division One men's head coach. Um, yeah, it's a truly special thing to say and, you know, to, to live it. And I've got a lot of friends back home. Um, there's a lot of just play, former players, coaches, friends, family that, you know, are, are in the game or love the game of basketball. And to be one of, you know, one of right now is it's something I don't take for granted. Um, especially seeing how Canada basketball did this past summer at the world at the world's and just where the game is evolving and growing and how talented the players are coming up. Um, to be a small part of that 
and just have the opportunity to be sitting here as you know a division one head coach and the only Canadian is just something I'm really proud of and really just try to work as hard as I possibly can every day to live up to that to keep the opportunity but to live up to you know having that status right there so uh, proud of where I came from proud to be you know in the seat and just want to do everything I can to make our program better. Uh, slowly but surely, one thing that I've definitely seen from all the newcomers is we're, we have a lot of talent, one through 17, just a lot of guys who know how to play basketball. We just got to find a way to put it all together. Just uh, we've we just been stressing our practice. Um, we're a one unit team. We got to uh, talk as one, get all the details done and do all the little things. Just being a scrappy young team, we're going to make mistakes, but we can fix that with effort, attitude and just communication from top to bottom. Yeah, we've got a tremendous staff and just so excited that, you know, the group is back. Uh, Jimmy, Herschel and Jason, they do such a great job, um, you know, with our guys every single day behind the scenes, recruiting to film to just running this program. Um, those three guys are phenomenal. and I'm so blessed and appreciative uh, to have them with us and to help us and help, you know, Stonehill along the way. And it's been so good for, you know, seven new faces that we have for for them to be taught, you know, by our staff that they are showing them the ins and outs and you know we're trying to get them to get quickly get up to speed but those three dudes just such a good job um, they're such good coaches but they're better people and I think they they make our program better they make my life easier and a lot better just you know trusting them and allowing them to be fully entrenched in this program because um, they're really really good coaches yeah, it'll be awesome to tip things up back here um, when West Point comes to town. Um, our first year, first Division One win, you know, last year down at their place, which was it was an incredible just experience being down there. Um, you know, just the history of the tradition of what you know the academy does and and how hard their team plays and how much they just play for each other. And now to have them come back to our gym is just it's going to be awesome. Um, uh, we're we're excited to see our crowd. You know, see Skyhawk Nation back here. They they do such a great job supporting our teams. You know, our, our women's our women team opens up, I believe, on the sixth, and I know it's going to be packed for them. And then we got West Point here a few days later, and I think the school is buzzing and just ready for hoops to get started and, and kick off. And I think it's going to be a great atmosphere, a really competitive game. Um, I'm sure they, you know, after last year where we were able to get them at their place, I'm sure they want to come back and try to get the best of us. But we'll be ready to play and ready to compete, and excited to, to have Skyhawk Nation back here ready to go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family.